Hello and welcome. Today we're stood outside the Lego house, home of the brick in Billund, Denmark. And we're going to take a lovely long sightseeing tour because I get carried away as normal of all of the new construction work that has been going on around the actual park itself. I've been going on for multiple videos. I've been trying to see and find out what's going on in there. The videos before this, it was at night and I looked like a drowned rat. This is the last video before I fly home. And I was just going to walk from here, have a quick look to see what was going on. And then all of a sudden, you will, well, you will see what's to come. So if you are here just to see of the route between the Lego house and the Landia, we do accomplish that as well with multiple confusion on my face of what way to actually go and what it is actually like in the new route. But we have got a couple of different routes that we're going to explore within this video. I know it sounds very confusing, but basically it's fair warning of what to expect a very confused and tired human being trying to figure out the best way to get back and around and you'll see exactly what I mean in a second but what we're going to do we're going to walk up in a straight line just turn left have a look at the model once I've then crossed the road I will then turn and face the camera on my face and then I will start speaking to the camera as normal not knowing what I'm about to experience and get myself in for but I have already landed obviously that's why I'm now doing the voice out at the start of this video and I can laugh at myself as I put this video together but the Lego house is just closed so it's about half past four I do believe now in the afternoon and we are going to go all the way up look around so I just wanted to quickly have a look at this model because I don't think I've shown this model off during the day I've tried to show it off at night I think this is legends are born and this is just obviously people playing with the with the lego brick I think it has a lot more meaning behind it as well but if you can fill me in with regards to that please do let me know but that's from 1990 and then we will just spin it around cross over the road like I said and then all of a sudden we will just crack on and go Right, we go across, the sun is out. I'll see how much of a, uh, an actual talk I can do for this one, because I spoke so much yesterday walking around, and I've not actually said anything at all today. This is the first thing I have said since I woke up this morning, so it's always a little bit weird to hear your voice for the first time in hours and hours and hours. So, <coughs> hopefully, everything will clear up, and we will crack on and get on with it. So, we are walking through the sculpture park. Obviously, like I've just said in the voice, so we're coming from the... Lego house and we are going to walk through here now we are going to look for the updates with regards to all the building work going on now I've walked down this way this morning obviously um, and there's actually two two ways in um, so I'll try and go on the other side and just see if you're actually allowed if it actually just say no no entry on there because they've put two big archways up now and not only that, they have also um, put like a site map with regards to what's going where, which I found last night, but I don't actually know until I watch it back if anything can be seen because it was pouring down with rain. It was really, really dark as well, which doesn't, doesn't help at all. And now it's a new day and we are here. So if you have not seen any of the videos previous to this, as this is one of your first one, we are walking through the sculpture park. So to get from the house back to Lelandia, where I'm going to grab a couple, of, a couple of snacks really for the for the plane. Um, this is the easiest way to go, and it's full, obviously, of all models. So you've got them up at the top, up there by the library. Uh, that to the left-hand side with the bits and pieces on it. No idea what that is. Now all of these marble pieces, which I'll walk around this closest one just here. All of these got added in. Um, last October I do believe and the grass has all come back and it looks it looks really really good so I've not really seen these properly during the day to be fair because every time I come down this way with the camera and try and stop it's um, dark and miserable but it seems to be that the sun it knows I'm going home so the sun's come out because this will be the last video that I'm doing so I'm going to Lalandia now and then from Lalandia I head over to the airport and jobs are jobs are good and so we can have a little bit of a, a sightseeing tour as we go back been a fantastic trip as well um it's only been obviously i landed early hours yesterday morning 
and then it's been a full-on day today but there is some amazing things at the lego house and it's nice actually how much they do change it around so if you've been in the summer definitely come back again if you can and it's affordable because obviously the prices for everything at the moment is absolutely ridiculous but from the uk it cost me 20 pound return flight so you know you can't really you can't really go wrong with that and i only stayed the one night at the cheapest place i could find that happened to be the um legoland holiday village so the accommodation was was really really nice that's all of the stuff that i'm talking about will be uploaded 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 in multiple videos and depending if and when I actually upload this one, because I would imagine this will probably be the last one or the second to last one. Um, all of them will already be uploaded, so we'll be, you'll be okay. So you know exactly, exactly what I'm going on about. But we'll have a quick look at this bench and try not to miss anything because I've not really done sort of this really before with regards to hunting them down. But the cool thing is, is that if you just use your normal QR code so your QR code scanner not the one that I used it Legoland Windsor because I'm an absolute idiot it's just a normal QR code that'll then take you to the website which I've actually done before and um, you get to see all of these through all the seasons because people take photos of them they go into the website and you can see them pouring down with rain beautiful sunshine like this um, the snowy ones look really really nice I think they were done last last year but this this is the start of obviously the sculpture park, but there is multiple ways that you can go. And that's somebody's back back garden just there, the other side of the water. Now we have done loads of exploring, and that will be in the how to get around and how to sort of playlist. I think it's how to get around slash accommodations is what it's called currently. I keep changing the name, I'm not 100 percent sure. But it has everything from London, Dubai, Billund, and everything else that is not Legoland related, basically like what we're doing now just having how to get around where's the best places to go best places to stay and things like that so if you are into these sorts of things or you are planning a trip because it's obviously why why i'm doing all of this then either drop a comment below and i can try and link you to the right video or just hunt down all the other playlists because there's loads of them and fingers crossed with everything else that i filmed today and yesterday yesterday was a very long day they should now have all the bases covered with regards to all the different kinds of accommodation, where they are, and all the other little bits and pieces like that. Um, but obviously I'm doing this walk to see the update for this because the first ever time I walked through would have been just over a year ago, I think. Oh, no, that's a lie, in 2019, in, in November. And it has changed so 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 much and um, if you have watched these videos before you know why i've got the camera facing this way because there is a school to the right hand side but it finished ages ago it's completely closed it's shut, shut shut for the weekend because it is is a friday there's no ducks in the water currently but i would imagine they will be still all at the legoland holiday village because again if i have uploaded all these videos i'm talking like i have so i probably better upload this video last the amount of uh, wildlife that I found last night. Loads of frogs, loads of ducks this morning. All sorts of little bits and pieces were, were dotted around, so it was kind of kind of cool. Now, if it's dry enough, I might go this way and then come back to cut up because you we go up in a straight line, basically. So if you are coming from that house and you are using this as a guide of how to get back to the landia yeah. and then from the landia you can obviously just get back to the airport so you can just you can just walk it no problem you just stay on this straight line here but the bit where it forks off to the right this is all new um i mean really really new but you can see there's those bike tracks and everything already on there so if we go up to come back down because if they put all of these signs up and then they put a vantage point up um basically showing you what the bits and pieces that they're going to be doing now i came down here last night in a storm last night in a storm and uh 
came across this bit. Now, a couple of people have just walked past this. Looks like there's hoof and um, toe marks in the ground. I was about to say it's a horse, but that's not a horse at all. So that's something, I don't know, some T-Rex or something like that. Um, now that was the bit where you originally followed the path through. It was all on the all on the grass. But what I am slightly confused about-ish is the amount of people that are using this as a cut through. So you must be able to, because there's more people coming through now. So we'll go, we'll just go and explore it. Um, and then we'll come back and then we'll walk back up the park. Right, so this, this is it. So we've done this before. It forked off up that way and we saw all the horses and stuff going around. Now this is where I came to last night and it was all blown over. So I didn't know which way to go, but clearly it's barricaded off to the right hand side so you can't go that way, but this is all open to go here, which is cool. So we can come through, come round, come up and over. And then we've got all the all the bits and pieces at the top and all the park stuff in the middle is um is going so that's gonna say going it's going on we will go and have a look we will go and have a look um i guess then that you can go all the way around obviously i'm not going to i just walk in a walk in a straight line but i guess eventually if you're staying at um hotel number eight which is directly over directly over there then um you're in, you're, you're laughing because you don't then have to now go all the way down to come all the way back through this park. You can now just cut directly across and that's gonna save another 10 minutes. So where, where we're stood now, this is the first ever time I've stood on it, obviously. This was the uh, race track. So this bit around the outside was the track and obviously they've added in, they've added in all of this. Um, and then there's a bit over, over on that side. So we'll go, we'll go for, We'll go for it for an explore. Right, so before I do zigzag all the way through, as you can see all the all the bike marks and everything shooting around. You've got loads of statues all the way and they go all the way through. So I think what I might do, instead of, instead of this finishing at the land here, we might just do a big circle and come back and finish where we started, just so anybody that wants to see those they can as well. Um, that bit I don't think's actually been put in yet. I'm trying to visualise where where we are. Left, we can go around, or we can check out the one that's over over the other side. So that means when I did the walk yesterday and was looking at the signs, it must must be somewhere on the on the road, and I don't know where where it is. And it's obviously they've not they've just not put it up yet. But we'll we'll go in there. Have an explore. So this was the bit that I was waffling on about before, where you just used to be able to stand and watch them come on the on the track, but they only just added this in before they then closed everything down. So this bit is obviously the straight line, and then you can just go that way, or you've got all of this, and you've got loads of footprints, and looks like there's a park going on over there. So this is all added in and new. The only thing is walking this way. It's not taking us the way we need to go. So I don't know if that map is what's showing you what's obviously going to be coming. And obviously they're in the process of doing it. So it seems a bit silly me walking me walking this way to go all the way up, but maybe I come this way. <laughs> finish up that bit and then walk back up the park rather than walking back down and then finish at that land here. Maybe, possibly, who knows. But this takes you to a play area that looks like it's open. So we, nice way to end it. We're gonna explore in the sunshine, seeing exactly what's going on. It's just a bit, it's also just a bit different and bizarre because you've got all the, You've got all the trust with regards to all the diggers and everything like that and people this way just aren't stupid enough to start jumping on them and running on them so they've got they've got the bits of yellow flags so I, I don't know 
how many times I'm going to say I don't know in this video. If you can, to anybody that is a local this way, are they, are, are they still going to put houses here? Or are they not? Have they changed their, have they changed their sort of thought process? Because... different and massive to what I thought it was going to be. I can't believe that I'm actually walking around a track that I used to sort of spectate and uh, look at and watch. But this looks like it's it's open to play in. You've got the tunnel already in, so that looks like that's good to go. It is a little bit soft, as you can see. I, I was walking before and it you went ankle deep into the bit that I was, uh, I was looking at, but yeah, loads of people have been playing on it, so... They are adding in multiple pavilions. That's that's the sculpture park and round. So it's going to connect connect to the two. So where does that connect then? Unless that isn't unless the bit that I've just walked out isn't. Maybe that's not the bit. I've just come through that bit because that's the water. So I was looking at it the wrong way. So we're coming round. Play zone, pavilion. All right, we'll just keep going and just see if it snakes. I'm guessing if we go that way, it's going to snake to the way it needs to go, which is pretty, pretty cool. Let's go and have a look up. Let's go and have a quick look up and explore on on this side. So I don't know where that other entrance is. That's the that's the one that I've not yet seen. It's only spotted. I only spotted the other one this morning, so I'm not a hundred percent sure um, if they've actually built that built that top bit yet. But there's loads of posters and stuff up in here, so let's have a let's have a look. I don't know what this box used to used to be. I'm assuming it would have been for the um, all the the track and stuff, but. Until he jumps out and goes boo, that'd be interesting. Ah, they've got a they've got a, the day by day of what they were doing. To add in this bit. So where we're stood is all this. It's day four. Day five the play area went in. And then day six the diggers and it was all finished. And in there it's just tables and chairs, so that's pretty that's pretty cool. So this is this is new. Oh, learning as we go. Learning as we go. Ah. I have absolutely no idea what to say, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. So now, I now don't know when I'm going to be uploading this video in the playlist. So if I talk about a load of videos, they are now, they might be to come. There's no point in me doing this in two, two separate bits. But if you, in all seriousness, if you do want just to see the park and what it used to look like originally, have a look at just the original sculpture park video. And then the second or third video, all the tree line basically disappeared. So where it just looks like it's all, you've got the play area, the grass, and then you've got those big gaps in the trees. The tree line was really, really thick. So you couldn't see over this way, you couldn't see anything at all. You could just hear the hooves in the background. And over by, there's the flag. So over this way would have been the um, sort of the start line and the uh, where you would actually stand and watch them so i'm not too sure that's where that yellow you got the yellow yellow the white boxes and obviously you've got the track that i stood on that goes around the around the outside and it comes it comes back through but it's nice to see that they're going to be adding so much more um open walkways and things and i wonder if they're gonna if they will add any more sort of um sculpture park bits and pieces and this is just like almost like a bolt-on i wonder the why i wonder why the, it went under i wonder who's 
whose thought process it was. I wonder if it just, I wonder if it just went bust, um, obviously because of the, the day and age that we're in now. Because I, I thought, I'm, in fact, I'm sure that there was a sign up the other end that did not have that map whatsoever. It was completely different. And it was talking about putting all different uh, affordable accommodation in and everything else. That might still be going in, but if this is the scale of what this is, it's um, going to look completely different, which is which is nice. This is lovely just to just to walk around, and obviously I would imagine that this would be relayed over time, a bit like what they've done down at the sculpture park, and when all the when all the plants and flowers and everything come through. But it does now mean you're going to get another one of these in October when I come back. Which then means I'm going to have to upload this quite early on. Because I've got enough videos to keep me going for a long time. I've filmed so many. Oh well. This is the waffle video I think. Just uh, not too sure what to say, what to do. But we can, we can get round. And they look like they are putting other bits and pieces in over that mound. Which is pretty cool. So... Um, just got to be careful where I'm standing. What I don't want it to do is I plop through it and my shoe comes off. That would be hilarious for you guys to watch, but what you guys haven't yet seen, nor would you have seen, is after I turned all the cameras and everything off after filming last night, I mean, it was smashing it down. And I was here, but up that bit, and I didn't, I didn't want to come in. Because I just wanted to, you shouldn't see anything anyway, there's no lights on, but I just wanted to see if the if, if it was gated there or what, because I saw somebody walking, and that's why I came in. I was like, oh, that's an, an interesting thing. But obviously from the other side, you can't see any of this. You can't see any, any of the tape or anything. So I didn't want to come in thinking it was a construction site, but seeing this now and how they've done it actually makes sense because they've blocked off the bits that they are going to be working on. And it's absolutely fine. It's a bit, a bit lost to start with, but now looking at it, going yeah, I can, I can see that. So this is actually, you know, exactly where this is going to kick us out, which is ooh. Sorry, I'm going to lose my lose my head in a minute. So over there, it, uh, if you can see it, there's some flags waving, and there's a white building. That is hotel number eight. So you came down a little bit and you would have come into the entrance on on that bit so there's a brick a brick building over over there so maybe that was uh that was the start of the horsey bit and i think if a bit further on the horses were in the car park and things like that so i think um obviously they've taken all of that away and they're pancaking it all down and this stuff is the stuff that we're walking on but what do you reckon this is all going to be? This looks like it might be for bikes. They put all the drainage in already. This is actually, this isn't just dumped here. This is, um, this is purpose built. It looks like a track. Yeah, there's a bank. Yeah, they're putting a track in. So I'm sure that'll be on the on the map. I am properly starting to starting to sink in on the on this side. Um, that'd be interesting to to see. When that goes in, there's going to be a bit, another thing that's a little bit, a little bit different. But like I said, if you are local and if you know I'm getting stuff wrong, just let us know. It's been a long, sort of 48 hours. Um, but it is, it is pretty cool. I think it makes, you know, you can just see where everything is and done. It was the first time I came up. All of the buildings were still here, but they were taking, they were just about to start taking one of the front buildings down. That was the last video I did. And I walked on the edge of the tree line where there was a big bank. And that basically, in the space of a couple of months, well, got to be about eight weeks, say three months. It, I can't believe how fast they've done it. So I said this in the last time I saw them doing some building work, they managed to put some bits and pieces in. Here we go, let's play and get it all done so fast. Right, I stand in the middle. No, no drama this time, no drama. 
just wonder what they're gonna have that up in this sign i wonder what that's gonna I wonder what that's gonna be up up in that bit it frames frames for you so that's obviously going to be another part of the another part of the track is where i fall fall down this way which should be, be funny so what are we a football pitch oh there it is okay so this will be another pavilion, which I've seen that going in. And they're adding all of this in as well. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, which way do I go now? Do I cut back through? I might go back what we've just done. And just double check. See, there's the... That's the garden, so that's that's where all the stone or well, maybe it'll be over on this side. Because if you if you think it's, it's a bit hard to judge only because that's the water and then we're we're up here. But it's um because it's the the track was obviously curved, I don't think that bit's on the map. But there's your there's the lodge I'm guessing it's gonna be the lodge hotel. Unless this has all been, and this is all to be our oh, phase two. So this is oh, this is all coming then. This is the this must be the curve. So adding all of that in as well. well that's a sight. I'm going to go back and do a bit of a, a bit of research, a bit of research on that. Well, there we go. Uh, I don't particularly want to walk that way. Can I just get down this way? Because I want to carry on with the sculpture park as well. But what I can do to save a load of time is walk in a straight line. So it'll be down here Ooh, without breaking a leg. And then um, these are all the trees. So I'm still actually stood on the, on the stumps. All of this was, they were all built. So they've just been, been recently cut, cut down. Um, the reason I'm looking at the floor and not looking at the camera is I'm just making sure it's not too wet because I am flying back tonight and I want to get my trainers soaked again. They took hours to dry off. I had to figure out how you turn the radiator on in the uh, accommodation <laughs> and then try to dry the hoodie, which I was telling you about. That was absolutely, absolutely soaking wet. And uh, the trainers, but life goes on could be a lot worse and what i was saying at the start if there's a, anything i can ever help you with just let us know in the comments below with regards to all the different accommodations and that that kind of stuff but i have stayed at quite a lot of um a lot of the accommodations now oh, I have it. so i'll be happy to help best i can with that and it is quite cool sort of being here from almost day one seeing it all perfect then the trees went then the sign then the um signs went up where i thought it was there adding in access to get to the other side because that'd be perfect for me when i'm walking up the other way and if i do stay at that top hotel it will save quite a bit of time not that it doesn't matter because it's, an, it's a lovely walk but you just don't have to come come down that way no that's not the point of why they're putting that in but if it does if it does carry on going that way and that's i'm looking at the map upside down and that's where the phase two entrance is going to go by sort of by the road that i can't imagine it would just sort of make sense wouldn't it to have houses at that end and then everything else behind it but it looks like it's taking up a massive a massive area but where that bmx track is and everything it's all on the left so it'll be interesting to see as we're walking to the right hand side to the road how much further they go smooth how much further they go before they change they change it up and do something else but they wouldn't have added in the front of that sort of classroom bit because it looks like they have bolted that onto the original building because it's brickwork behind it so you couldn't get you couldn't get around the side but because i'm further i'm further back now it's all 
it's all good. All right, we're still, still hard enough at the moment. That sand is wrong. You know what I mean. So the ground's not slippy, shall we say? Is a better way. The better way to say to say that. The only thing you've got to be careful of is stinging nettles and things. But yeah, so this bit here, like there have been tree, tree, tree. There's another big cutout stump there. Look, tree. So you can just imagine all of this. You can see how close they are. There's another cut one there, one there, and then there's another cut, and it's so on. So these were really close together, and obviously we've got that that front bit. They just opened it, opened it all up massively, um, and now they're adding in bits. But where, obviously, it's not, nothing. This isn't planned whatsoever, but because I did get soaking wet last night and did a bit of call it fancy recon. There we go. Fancy word for no reason at all. Site so nine battery died after I said recon. So, as I was saying before, I really got interrupted by the battery. Did a lot of recon last night. Got absolutely soaked. Super fancy name for what I was doing. I was just exploring, um, and we found this bit just here. So I actually just put my bag on that and just put a new battery in. But I am a child, so hello. I want to. Come on. Ow. Walk up this. As you would do. Oh, I'll just walk. <laughs> I said, I've got to be careful for stinging nettles. Just walk straight through them, shin, shin first. So, this, like I said, was way this way. I did last time. And that's this, these are all being cut. Now, this bit here is the bit that we have seen, we've already explored with regards to being able to come here for the track. Now this was the sign. Uh, so it was because the English bit wasn't in there as such. This says a new sustainable neighbourhood. Billings Trotting Track will be transformed into a new sustainable neighbourhood, and it's that's how it's said. Um, we'll take over the area at the beginning of 2022, and it is re currently in the process of developing a vision for the new neighbourhood together with Billings something to gain insight into the citizens needs and wishes for the new neighborhood and kick things off for us and then it was just inviting everybody over so every villain vision day on the track on the 29th of august 2021 i'd be right sure oh, did they, oh it happened in, tw in 2021 did it okay uh procedure in the development process to make sure that the new urban area process that the new urban area will be the value of the entire town and contribute overall vision to development of Billund. Oh, so maybe they're not adding houses then. Because this, this what is what we saw and it just had like neighbourhood and it, it was this. It just looked like it was all houses and things going in. So this is why you can see it looks like a print for the houses. But now they've, now they've got the map. So maybe this is, um, a big a big thing that they're going to be doing that's amazing so this is the bit that we were over on that side so it looks like there's going to be a new calf a new calf coming over so you can see that's going to look really really smart once they've made up all the pallet boxes and that was done obviously when it was snowing but you can see just there is where one of the the outbuildings and things still stood so obviously that's that's all been taken down that would have been that would have happened around december um so that's that's pretty cool Right, learning. We're learning, we're learning, we're learning, which is which is amazing. But I think it's pretty cool that we've managed to... I might have already said it, but I don't know if it, if, when I said it and if it, if it got cut off when I said it. It's um, pretty cool to see everything that's been happening and the fact that every time we find something new, we keep coming over this way and sort of exploring down the track. And now, that's even better news, that if it's just going to be a really nice urban space that they're going to do and they're going to add in all different sporting activities that are missing that area with no houses is going to be absolutely enormous so i would would guess that they just have have going have it going all the way around the outside as well so you can do do whatever whatever needs to be whatever needs to be done there and that's a really good selling point for for that hotel as well because i was i was thinking that with the uh with the track gone i thought a lot of people would have stayed there from the track 
but now it's, it's just going to entice in and that is not a seat but there we go check that out i bought that one right magic so i need to do my shoelaces up because i'm really not that organized with regards to anything prepped for this video whatsoever um shins are really stinging i'm not going to lie that does hurt a little bit but we will go back down basically to where it veered off and then we'll just walk up in a straight line so you can just ignore the last 15 20 minutes of the exploring and then you just know then how how long it takes to actually get up to the top you now know this is here as well which is fantastic um i would imagine it would be easier to get to eventually otherwise you would actually have to what if you're coming from like the lego side you're gonna have to walk all the way down to then come all the way up which because where the grass goes off on both sides so that side over there and that side over there it actually just comes back in on itself and it goes down the same path um but yeah we'll go we're going to explore now right which way do we go do we go this way i've just watched somebody come up and uh they've just cut across left and i'm guessing a few people might be doing that so they might be adding that bit on as a as the walk no, oh, he's he's gone in. It's looking at the size of that pavilion where the box was when we when we came in on the right hand side where it was all blocked off. That is a big area. If they're going to have three of those, um, it'd be really interesting to see what they're actually use it use it for. Unless it will be very much a case of they'll have one up by the calf. So that now we know what that is. Um, and obviously, it'd be a nice thing to go go around for a walk <laughs> anywhere around here. I mean, look at it. Go for, go for a walk and just grab yourself a drink and sit down on the on outside because there isn't actually anywhere obviously to do that so that's why they've obviously asked for it to go in but like i said that that is obviously your hard your hard standing to walk through but this was originally what i was walking on where they cut it all down and just made the made the path through so you can't get to the other side so you can see some signs you can see some signs just here which was the original signs that he put in which i thought was i found it really or a little bit confusing because i thought it was just the uh shortcut to the uh hotel but in hindsight it's not it's what what this is so you've got the two two ways here and that just leads to exactly where where we were and you can't do you can't go anywhere so i'm not gonna risk it anymore i've got a little bit of uh a little bit of tact on the old trainer in front but that's that's all good so i want to run back up there and just make sure that i did film enough to the right hand side um, and then we'll walk back down there and then as promised the name is title <laughs> we'll walk to lalandia after the fifth or sixth decision of me talking to myself as we go um markings in the, the woods really nice as well so that's the pavilion on the on the right hand side <laughs> obviously the AE boards are going to give you some information um, this is now we've got pavilion one that's where we are so play zone play hall skateboard ramps so that's all going there I guess is it that's uh that's coming off coming off there so yeah we've we've done that there's the lights so this bit here that's got to be pavilion one so the football pitch is going behind behind that pavilion and it goes goes around and goes from there it's, it's just difficult to see because i'm looking at a circle not the not the straight lines but it's gonna look amazing when it's done so i can't wait to come back and have a look keep us up to date with everything but that's the that's the last time we see that's the last time we see this um that's the cafe at the top so that's phase two so all of this is phase two So everything on the right hand side is phase two then. So that's what's going on about. Let's get my, get my head around it now. So you've got the 
crack. Unless that's just a temporary path. And it's going to be wider because that track is right next door to... So it, it almost felt like I walked here. So maybe they're, they're still, doing, still doing this bit. Anyway, enough of that. That's not what you're here for. We'll see. Really, really looking forward to that. I always like to try and get my head around things. It's not that hard, is it? But like I said, the bit I've just walked on to what's on the map, doesn't look like there's any space for it. But again, it's probably just a, it's probably just a, temp like a template guideline, isn't it? So we can worry about it as we go. Now, uh, the, the amazing thing on this side to my left is I thought originally that the football pitches, the 100 meter running track, all of the, all of these bits and pieces that are in there. So you can see there's a big sprint track and then it's a big four or maybe 800 meter um, track around the outside. And you've got all different pitches and everything in the middle. You've got all the basketball courts. So I was thinking that is an amazing, amazing play area when I first saw it. Because I only saw it because of this bit was from this because of this bit. So you can see where you can cut, which I will go the original route. So I came up that way and saw saw all of this. It wasn't until I came back because I came up obviously arrived at the weekend. Left on the Monday, so as you do, always go back down to the Lego house before before you leave. Some of the uh it's near the school. It's near the, it's near the play area. <laughs> like, that's got more facilities at their play area than I've ever seen. What is this? Oh, no. We've got more stuff. Uh, oh, I don't know what that means. Uh... So that's that's the sculpture park. That's the water, and then we're coming up that way. That's the track by the looks of it. So three kilometres of learning and adventure. It's going to be called Playline. Oh no, it's, it is the Playline because that's Legoland. So Legoland down the main road is Lego Campus. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, I've gone down that slide. That's available. Just coming back from here. It's a bit delayed, I know. Wow Park, we failed on. Couldn't find that. That was a... Uh, that hurt yesterday, not being able to find that. So you've got the Lego Castle. Follow the water. That's the... That's the park. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that as, it, as it develops, I hopefully put more and more up. But... Obviously, from where, where I've been walking, I've not, um, not seen anything, but... I don't know, because that's where I was. I didn't jump on it, so I didn't jump on it, just in case it's, that says avoid that zone, that bit's now not open already, but you can see where it is from here. Um, but yeah, that's the, so it is an open open trail at the moment. Hmm. Well, just where I took you down the original bit. So like I said, this was the, the original bit, so maybe this is gonna be staying here. Um, wouldn't imagine it would, would you? Unless it's just here because of everybody would use it as a cut through as they'll be coming to the monument. But this was the original sign. So it, <coughs> this was the thing that started it all off. And here we are, like 73 videos later. I guess everybody does this as well. Look, they all use this as a as a jump up. So yeah, maybe maybe they will will keep it there. But We've just got another another sign to the track as well. So I've just spotted I didn't see that sign before. So that looks like that's just been been added in. Right, moving on. Let's just stop the camera because I just wanted to check. There's no um, other signs or anything. Then there's there's not. So it's coming together quickly. Coming together quickly. Right off that topic onto the next one of how quick and easy this is and how safe it is with regards to getting from the Lego House because it's this is possibly the easier way to go especially if you're staying at those hotels and it will become much easier with that this is your 
play line so there'd be more of them being added in and where we've got all of these I'm just trying to get bearing so we've done all of these before all of these take you different different ways now when you see it or if you've already seen it again I'm not 100% sure when this is going to get uploaded now I did this walk at night last night don't know if I said it was raining <laughs> and um, this was the bit that was just pitch black this is the stuff that you couldn't see and I came through one of these areas but they have done some bits into here as well see, this is this wasn't here before so this is a new a new sort of path and they've added in all sorts of stuff so this will be another thing to if we've got tree tree houses over there so that'll be a thing to explore next time otherwise this video is going to be three hours long i hope we'll miss my flight at the same time i've got time but you know what i'm like i've got a load of fresh batteries so i just keep i just keep going and then get another plane tomorrow we've got plenty of places to sit down it be lovely lovely to come in either glorious sunshine or as we are now or even the snow but you can see why I wasn't going to go on about it but comparing it to the other one they've cut down so many of the trees to see as it opens it up so much and it just looks really really pretty on the left so yeah looking forward to getting back already that's the only thing about leaving it sucks to leave but I'm very very lucky with regards to how much it costs to get here so I would rather come here for a night than say for example get a box of Lego currently you know what I mean where you've got to prioritize one or the other or neither obviously depending on depending on how tight everything is with with regards to all the bills and things like that but it's um at the moment it's still cost effective for me to do so if they end up putting up the flights to a lot of money then it's just not gonna it's just not gonna work because it's happened with germany germany's not gonna happen this year um i was looking in so trying to get to germany if i booked it early enough it would have been okay but between now and i think january i think you can look into the flights have gone from say 75 pounds which don't get me wrong it's not cheap but if you think of the travel time and that's each that's return as well so if you if you break it down to per hour you fly and everything it's you know it's, it's manageable it's swallowable but you're looking i think it's like 170 180 now so it's not like you could just if they did that coming to billund is instead of being able to come sort of every six weeks after I only come for a night we'd then be really thinking well actually when you add up the price of everything else you would just basically have to film all of these sorts of updates and then just say to yourself you're going to do like the Lego house once a year or the theme park once a year or something whereas because it is so so cost effective currently if you if you wanted to you could do the theme park in the Lego house every time you came if you just wanted to come in for the to the lego and see the displays i haven't done the theme park this time i literally yesterday it was a full-blown external filming day and then today it's just been at the lego house it's been a lovely lovely two days but if you wanted to do if you want to see the theme park and the house i would probably recommend coming the night before but then that adds on obviously the extra price for the hotel and then you are traveling with different people so ba will do the flights in the evening with um a small cabin bag i think they're around say between 75 upwards but you'll go late on the thursday so it just writes the day off completely ryanair it's this bag that i'm wearing and nothing else that's why i was going about it raining so much because i haven't got a spare hoodie with me or i've got a spare t-shirt and different pair of shorts on if you've noticed because i've gone from black to from white yeah white shorts on <laughs> oh yeah but uh it's there's just there's just hope for everybody that if you can get over like i said these are these are still useful and if 
if you can't get over but you still like watching them then let me know because i have said in a couple of other videos that if you like the sort of mix up of everything with regards to the parks and the surrounding stuff i don't mind doing doing this at all obviously i probably would have gone in there and explored it anyway but i'm not going to bore you walking from lalandia back to the airport this time so when we basically get to the sculpture park i'll just turn the camera around and be like there's lalandia you just basically cross over and you're and you're there then with the, all the other videos that i've done it i've done it multiple times so i'm not I think there's no real need for me to i'm just basically milking an upload that doesn't need to be done so i'm not going to do it um but i wonder if you can actually see it from up here so you can get an understanding of what i'm going on about if we can come up here so this is still part of the sculpture park we're still in the sculpture park by the way um we walk past a couple of them now because i don't want to waste time stopping and dragging this out any longer than what it needs to be I don't want any of you not twiddling your thumbs and bored. So there's the there's the castle. Uh, got your lights. Oh no, the tree line's in the way. So you can't. So that was unnecessary exercise. Um, so when, when we get to the top by the sculpture park, you then just turn left. You walk in a straight line and the airport's on your right hand side. You get to a roundabout, turn right, straight line, turn right again, and you're there. Because you see the whole airport is on your right hand side to get back so um i did walk it like i did for the first ever video that i did from uh in the villain playlist from back in the day i did walk the full length um so did that again this time it didn't take too long it's a little bit easier when you saw a little backpack and you're not carrying a suitcase I didn't wheel it because I tried to, in my wisdom, simulate a a little one, but just ate into the time. So that is the bit over there that we could have just come straight out from and then walked then walked up. So that's a nice a nice difference that. So you just want to see different you just want to see different things. Change hands, I had a can in that hand. Um I've just put it in the bin, so don't don't shout at me. Uh, yeah, see, it's all all done on on this bit. So that's pretty cool. So try and check it out next time you come down, and I would would imagine oh, would they stop work on that over over Christmas? I don't know how badly it snows up this way. Let us know. Let us know if you are. If you are local and you have managed to watch the rest of this and me waffling on, then give us a give us a bit of a heads up. Let me know. That's the Lodge Hotel, the Landia, massive thing past this yellow head that we would have seen on the map. Like I said, the castle is just to, to the left over there, so that's that's nice and simple. So, um, but again, if you're staying at any of these bits of accommodation, it's really really easy just to get to and from because. This is the furthest walk, if you want to do the Lego house. The actual Lego park is like five minutes away. Um, because the video that I filmed after I just landed, like the second or third one, was walking up to the Landia. And I actually found a couple of different paths that I've never seen before. And um, some more models, because I think you just tend to stick to the one bit and you go, oh, that's got to be the quickest where that bit where I said I'm going to film next time because I said oh that's a new thing that I've not seen before and I think they just added it in that might now lead somewhere and it, cuts, it goes somewhere completely different a bit like uh, the epic fail of walking around Lelandia last night trying to find the wow park I like, that bad I started to run towards the end of the video because the memory card was filling up and we just ran out of, we just ran out of time I just I just couldn't find it in time but I didn't realize that it was at least four or five times bigger than what I thought it was only because for the first time I actually decided to stick my head round the customer service and saw a map of Lalandia and just how big it was so it's all all a little bit different now but we are here we're going to stop there because through that gap is is Lalandia there's no no need to go any any further so guys that's it I'm just going to stop waffling on if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, 
thank you very much for watching you guys take care and i'll catch the next one Ta -da.